Hi, this is Andy from New Mac Products. I'm going to be demonstrating the installation of the Invert Mini foregrip extender. This is a pretty easy thing to install, but there's a lot of different steps. It's different from working the stock part, so I'm making this video to help. First of all, take it out of the package, take a look at it. Everything you need is fully contained inside the uh, extender itself. Okay, first step. Remove the stock foregrip by loosening these two screws in the trigger guard. It helps if you have a ball end Allen key set. When the two screws are loose, slide the foregrip off. Now you can remove these screws if you want. I suggest you do that, but don't lose them for future use. But you don't have to. You can leave them in if you want. Now taking a look at the foregrip extender itself, it will mount to these two front screws here in the transfer plate, so you'll have to take those out using an Allen wrench. Now you shouldn't throw these screws out, you should keep them for future use in case you decide to go back to the stock setup. The two screw holes you see in the top of the foregrip extender, or sorry, the bottom of the foregrip extender, they will slide in and lock down right into the body of the Mini. But you'll notice that it does not simply slide on. You need to first loosen the two frame screws so that you can create a gap between the body and the frame. You don't have to take the screws out, just loosen them up. On the rear screw you have to be careful because the firing assembly will become released, possibly. So be careful about that. With the screws loosened, you can separate the frame from the body, creating a small gap. So with a small gap between the frame and the transfer plate, you can take the take the foregrip extender and separate the two pieces. There's a bottom piece and a top piece. Take the top piece and slide it into the exposed area on the circuit board right in front of the trigger guard. Plug in the connector like so and that's pretty good. Now uh, tighten the frame back down and you can apply pressure back onto the screws. Put your firing assembly back in if you forgot about it. <laughs> So now that you have this uh, top portion in position, you can take the bottom portion and align it down through the screw holes. Use an Allen wrench to tighten the screws most of the way down. But don't tighten them all the way because you'll have to do some test fitting here in a second. Okay, so you can see the bottom piece moves around a little bit. Take your stock foregrip, slide it down over the bottom piece, and into the connector. Now, with everything in the right position, now is the time to tighten the uh, transfer plate screws. And so now you should have a nice clean fit between the foregrip extender and the uh, stock foregrip. At this point everything's pretty much in the right spot so all you have to do is tighten the uh, foregrip extender's lock screws. Like so. And you should be done. You can turn it on, test it out, make sure the eyes work. Everything's working. So at this point everything is installed and you're ready to go. You can revert to the stock setup at any point in the future, but you have to uh, keep track of your old screws because some of them are different. Okay, thanks for watching and if you need any help, uh, contact us through our website or find us in the forums. Thanks.